What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I've got a quick unboxing of two pairs of sneakers which I'm pretty excited about and one of them, I don't even know what it is, so let's jump into it. I'm also realizing as I look in the monitor that I need a haircut, but surprise, can't get one, so um, gonna have to start wearing hats. So this first package is from Bodega in Boston, Massachusetts. I didn't order it, it's something that they actually sent out. I noticed on UPS that I was getting a package from Bodega, they didn't even tell me it was coming, so I have no idea what it is, but based on the size of the package, it's probably a pair of sneakers. And then the second box is actually from uh, the live stream that I did a couple days ago where I purchased a couple pairs of sneakers on Air Max Day and one of them finally came in. Well, actually all of them came in, but this is the last one and I'm really excited about checking it out. But before we actually jump into this sneaker unboxing, I wanted to let you guys know about my second channel where I unbox pretty much everything from toys to weird stuff to tech more tech it's pretty much just a tech channel at this point but it's still a lot of fun so if you guys aren't getting enough content from just this channel you guys should definitely check out that second channel which is linked at the top of the description so if you guys could subscribe to that it would mean the world to me and I think you guys will like it a lot so after you're done with this video make sure to check that channel out let's jump right into the first box the one from bodega and of course We've got Scary Knife, and I know I got an email from somebody, I forget who it was, someone emailed me about possibly sending me an, a new knife, and uh, I think I might respond and say, yes, that's necessary, because Scary Knife is just getting scarier by the day. So inside the first box, we've got Bodega 2000. Saucony, loyal to the sport. So this is obviously a pair of Saucony's. That's a Bodega collaboration. It says 2000 right underneath Bodega, so I'm assuming it's some kind of 2000, maybe a Grid 2000? Grid Azura 2000. Huh, I'm pretty sure Bodega actually did a collab on the Grid 2000, or Grid Azura 2000 before, so. This could be it, or it could be something new. So inside the box, we've got some really nice iridescent Bodega paper. Very nice, and then, the sneakers themselves. These, these are nuts. I know I just did that video on the Pharrells a couple days ago that were insane, but these might, these might be more insane. These are um, out of this world. They look like a zebra, an alien zebra. So these are the Bodega Saucony Grid Azura 2000s. Now this is not the colorway that I had seen before. I've actually never seen this colorway before. And it's crazy, man. It's, it's mostly gray. It's got some, some lighter gray on sort of the zebra stripes, which seem to be made up of some sort of nice leather. You've got a almost suede looking material in the midfoot in a darker gray. And then you've got browns and greens and purples and blacks and reds. It's, this is a wild shoe. This shoe is like, I don't know what to think. Now I've got to be completely honest, this shoe is not exactly my thing. This is not something I'd wear on a regular basis. However, I do have to say that the construction of the sneaker is really clean. And I think the colors that they chose, while not my favorite colors in the world, together make this shoe very, very unique. Like this is something that you would throw on your feet and people would be like, whoa, what is that? <laughs> and my answer would be that it's the Bodega Saucony Grid Azura 2000. <laughs> so it looks like on the bottom of the shoe, you've got some sort of, not air unit, but some sort of pocket with air in it. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It's probably some sort of cushioning setup, maybe the grid cushioning setup. Then the rest of the shoe is just covered in wild materials. Like I said, you've got leather suede, you've got some black mesh. On the toe, you've got some brown suede, which actually feels really nice. And then this sort of rubberized leather panel right there on the outside of the toe, which I'm assuming is for durability. It usually is. The shoe comes with brown rope laces, and then as you can see on the left side of the pair, you've actually got gray laces and green laces as well. To be honest with you, I don't know how much it would change up the look of the shoe. The shoe is already so crazy anyway. I don't, I don't know if people are gonna be looking at the laces, but it's nice that you have that option. And then on the tongue, you've got this sort of dark brown base with the Bodega 2000 text embroidered onto it, which I actually think looks really nice. You've got red on the back of the tongue and a purple sock liner. Even the midsole on this shoe is nuts. You've got a black midsole with gray splatter print, which actually does tie in with the zebra print nicely in color, not so much in pattern. But man, if you're looking for a shoe that stands out, this is the one. I mean, even though the colors are muted, the shoe does look insane. Completely insane. And I might actually wear this just because it's cool. So why don't we throw these on feet really fast, see how they look. Let me pull off these laces and uh, see how they fit too. Okay, so the Bodega Saucony 
Grid Azura, Azura, I think that's what it is, 2000, or Grid 2000 Azura, I don't remember what the name is. But I gotta say, they're pretty comfortable and they definitely fit true to size. This is a shoe that, um, the more that I wore it, the more I was like, okay, I can see myself wearing this. Maybe not every day, but on sort of special occasions where I wanna just look crazy. Nah, genuinely, I really do like this shoe a lot. I like the materials mostly. I think the quality of the shoe is really what sells it for me. I have no idea when these shoes are releasing or if they're releasing. I believe they probably will release sooner than later. That's probably why they sent them to me. I didn't get a note or anything, so I'm not exactly sure what the deal is with these. But I've got to say, out of every Bodega collab that I've ever seen, there's never been one that I've been like, that's a miss. Because usually they're collabs, even if it's something that I'm not totally in love with, there's a reason behind it and a story behind it. And that's what sells people on it. And as we've seen, Bodega's had some crazy hits, like those No Days Off New Balances or those No Bad Days New Balances. They're all awesome sneakers. And even though the aesthetics of the sneaker aren't exactly for me, I respect it, I appreciate it, I really like the material quality used on this sneaker. And I've got to give a huge thank you to Bodega for sending this pair of sneakers out and thinking of me in the first place because that's really cool So thank you guys so much for this really appreciate it But on to the next sneaker We've got a pair of shoes which I'm very excited about and I believe also dropped last year So this might actually just be a restock, but we'll have to see like I said I purchased these sneakers on my uh, Air Max Day live stream, which you guys can still check out on my channel I saved it to the channel so um, You guys can definitely see the whole like I think hour and a half live stream if you guys want but inside the box we have got some essentials. As you guys can probably figure out by this point, these are the Fear of God Converses or the Essentials Converses. And this is a pair of sneakers that I've always wanted, but I've just never pulled the trigger on. And it helps that, you know, I was able to get them for retail, even though it isn't exactly the colorway that I wanted. But these are officially called the Converse Chuck 70 High String String White Black. So there you go. <laughs> so let's pop these guys open and see how they look. Well, okay, pretty much exactly what I expected. <laughs> as much as I love these sneakers, they're not very surprising. We knew exactly what we were gonna get with these. And to be honest, that's fine. It's an essential. So these are the Fear of God or Essentials Converse Chuck 70 High. This is the gray colorway. And I've gotta be honest, out of the three colorways that dropped, the gray colorway was probably the one that I wanted maybe the least. It's not anything against this shoe. I think the shoe still looks great, but there was a black colorway with a white tongue and a white colorway with a black tongue, which I liked more than this one. But I've got to say, seeing this one in person, I still really dig it. And to be honest, I think less people have the gray colorway than the black colorway, the white colorway. So in that way, it's a little bit more limited. I don't know. I'm trying to make myself feel better because I really like that black colorway, but it's still dope. Now, as you can probably tell, the shoe does look a lot like a standard pair of Converse's, except that it's actually got a leather tongue or a faux leather tongue that comes in a cream color, which contrasts this gray canvas really nicely. And then you've also got this lacing setup that wraps all the way around the back of the sneaker. And that's really what sold the shoe for me. I love like wraparound lacing setups. I don't know what it is. I love the John Geigers. I love these Fear of Gods. I also did a concept for a pair of high top Yeezy 350s that had this similar lacing setup. And I don't know what it is. I just love the way it looks. It just looks so, I don't know. It's just dope. <laughs> now I think the shoe does come with, it does. It does come with another pair of laces, a gray set of laces that match the upper, but I'm definitely gonna keep these cream laces in because I like the contrast. Of course, on the medial side of the shoe, you've got that iconic Chuck Taylor emblem right there, which I think looks really, really clean. It's on every pair of high tops. It's a dope touch. And then on this pair, or at least on the essential pairs, you've got what seems to be a very glossy midsole or vulcanized midsole that comes in sort of a sail or a cream white with some black accents. I don't think regular pairs of Converse's have this sort of glossy midsole, or at least none of the pairs that I've had have that glossy midsole, and I guess that's sort of the, the special touch. As you can see on the heel, you've got the Essentials logo on the left side and the Converse logo on the right side. To allow for the wraparound lacing, you have this loop in the back, which is of course a necessary touch or an essential touch. Damn, that was... That was rough. And overall, that's pretty much all there is to the shoe. And for 110 bucks, it's a pretty solid and pretty clean looking pair of sneakers. Unfortunately, it's sold out if you want them, so you might have to pay a resale, but I think if you're looking for a pair of Converse's, this isn't a bad way to go. So at this point, let me throw these sneakers on feet so I can show you guys what they look like.
So there you go. That's how they look on feet. I think they look great. Obviously, sizing in Converse is, is a little bit different than standard pairs of sneakers. You usually have to go down a half size or a whole size. In the case of this shoe, I went down a whole size. It went down to a size 8. I'm a size 9, and it fit me perfectly because these guys, they fit huge. So make sure to keep that in mind if you're grabbing a pair of Converse. They just fit so large, and if you want to wear them comfortably, you should go down at least a little bit. But that pretty much wraps up the video for today. Now, I would love to know your thoughts on these shoes and which pair of sneakers you would consider picking up. So let me know in the comment section down below. Once again, huge thank you to Bodega for sending out this awesome pair of sneakers. I really, really appreciate it. And of course, don't forget to check out my tech unboxing channel, which is linked at the top of the description. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.